Hi Chem Gang. In this video, I'm going to go over a question that came up in our discussion group of how to balance this uh, chemical reaction. And in order to balance this chemical reaction, in the interim, we're going to need to use a coefficient that isn't a whole number. So whenever you're balancing equations, the number in front of the compound is called the coefficient, and the rule is that these coefficients have to be whole numbers in the end for the final solution. But in the interim, when you're trying to balance, uh, you can use a fraction of a whole number just to help you to balance and I'm going to show you how that works. So first of all I've already uh, tallied up the atoms on each side of the equation. Uh, this is very Halloween-y for a day like today, um, which is Halloween <laughs> in 2018. So we're looking at uh, uh, balancing first our carbon. So we have six carbons on the left and one carbon on the right. So I'm going to put the coefficient of six on the right hand side that's going to give me six carbons but it's also going to affect my oxygen so I have six times two will give me 12 oxygens plus one to give me 13. So whenever you have split atoms on one side uh, you have to make sure that you account for them all so six times two is 12 plus one gives me 13. Uh, my carbons are now balanced so now I go to my hydrogens I have six on the left two on the right so three times two will now give me the six on the right so three times two is six and now my hydrogens are balanced and now I just need my oxygens to balance I oops but before I can do that I, uh, I have my three times two gives me six but that three is also needs to apply to my oxygen so I have six times two 12 oxygen 13 14 15 oxygen so now I can go ahead and I can uh, balance my oxygens so um, you can see that I have six oxygen on my left 15 on the right which means that the coefficient that I can put here has to be a fraction of a whole number. So 15 divided by 6 gives me 2.5. So in other words, if I multiply 6 by 2.5, I'm going to get the 15 that I need in order to balance my oxygens. However, this isn't good chemistry grammar. We need to have the coefficients as whole numbers. So this is a perfect example of where you're going to use a decimal, a fraction of a whole, in order to uh, balance out your equation. And then once you have it balanced, which I do, all of my atoms are balanced, um, then I'm going to fix the, uh, the coefficient that's not a whole number. And to do that, I'm going to multiply it by a number so that it becomes a whole number. So 2 times 2.5 is going to give me 5 oxygens, 5 O6s. So when I write this out, um, I'm just going to move this stuff down a little bit, give me some room here, and then That's now going to give me five O sixes. And then if I've multiplied this by two, in order to make sure that everything else still balances, I'm going to multiply all the other coefficients in the equation by two. So the coefficient here, there's nothing. Uh, so we assume it to be 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. We have the 5 O6s here. 6 times 2 is going to give us 12 carbon dioxide, and 3 times 2 is going to give us 6 H2Os. Now that's going to change my counts, but you'll see uh, when I, even though it's changing my counts, they'll all be balanced in the end. So 2 times 6 carbons is going to give me 12, 2 times 6 hydrogens will give me 12, and 5 times 6 oxygens will now give me my 30 oxygens. 
over on this side, I have 12 carbons, I have 12 hydrogens, and 12 times 2 is 24, plus 6 oxygens, there's my 30. So it all balances. So that's how we use a fraction <laughs> just in the in term to help us balance an equation and then when you're done balancing the equations with the fraction you can then multiply by a whole number to uh, change the coefficient into a whole number. Just make sure that whatever you multiply this uh, coefficient that you do so to everything else in the equation and that will make sure you end with a balanced number. So I hope that thanks for watching.